So in this series we are creating a very basic first person controller and we've already added sprinting, crouching and jumping and some other things. And in this video we'll add flying. A quick recap in case you haven't watched the previous videos. In our player controller in the main script player CS, what we're doing every frame in the update method is first we are checking if we are grounded or not, then we're applying gravity, then we're moving the player if any of the movement keys are pressed and we're also rotating the view if the player is trying to look around. And lastly, we're checking if the player fell out of the map or not. And for flying, we'll only need to move the player and rotate the camera. Ground checks and bounce checks are irrelevant here. And obviously we don't need gravity when we're flying. Now the question is, how do we run one or the other set of instructions depending on our current state? One way would be to make a base state class and have individual state classes that inherit from it. And the update function would then call the update method of whatever the current state is. It might be necessary if you're planning to have a lot of different states. But in this video, we'll keep it simple and just use a simple enum. So let's add a public enum state. The two possible states for now are walking and flying. And the public state variable to hold the current state. And in the update method, we can just use a simple switch statement like so. Now to actually be able to switch between the two states, let's create a new action called toggle flying and let's bind it to one. On toggle flying, we're going to check if the current state is the flying state. And if it is, we're going to switch to walking state. Otherwise, we're going to switch to flying state. And now after we switch to the flying state by pressing one, if we press space, we'll just start going up and we'll just keep going up because there is no gravity to counter that. So we don't want to process jumping in the flying state at all. And also right now we can't really look up, press W and go up. That is because we're going in the direction where the player capsule is pointing and not where the camera is pointing. The player itself always stays upright, so it only can give you the horizontal movement. So what we need to do is we need to use the camera transform as our reference point for the movement when we're flying and player transform when we're walking. So in our get movement input method, let's add a new parameter called horizontal. And if we want the horizontal movement, we'll use the transform as our reference point. Otherwise, we'll use camera transform. And also, instead of having just one update movement method, we'll also have update movement flying method. It looks a lot like the first one, but we're also passing false to the get movement input method to get non horizontal movement. And here we're interpolating velocity as a vector instead of just interpolating x and z components. And also, we're not calling the on before move event here because that's what we're using for crouching and jumping. So now we can't crouch or jump while flying. If we need to execute some logic before the flying, movement in the future we can just add an on before move flying event and let's also move this move speed multiplier reset from this method into the update method and now if the state is flying we'll just call the update movement flying method instead and now when we press one we can fly around freely and we can't crouch or jump anymore so it's all good but the movement speed is a little bit too low so instead of having movement speed, let's actually have two different speeds for flying and walking. And let's make the movement input method take a speed argument. And in the update movement, we'll pass the walking speed. And in the update movement flying, we'll pass the flying speed. And now we're flying twice as fast and we can control this speed separately. And the last thing that we're going to add is we'll allow pressing Q and E keys to fly straight down and straight up. So let's add a new action called fly up down. And here let's add a new positive negative binding. For negative it's going to be Q and for positive it's going to be E. And let's also allow pressing left control for negative and space for positive. In our player script let's get a reference to this action like so. And in our get movement input method we're going to read the value of this action. And if it's not the horizontal mode, we'll take the player's up vector, multiply it by our input and add it to our resulting input vector. Now, if we're pressing E or space, we're going up. And if we're pressing Q or control, we are going down. 